Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So this week is pre-release for BT15. Super excited for this set and uh, we need to know what is good, right? So looking into this set, what are the absolute bangers? What is the most OP cards? Uh, what are just generally good cards that are gonna support lots of decks out there? And which cards might be a little bit of a power creep? Yeah, I think, I think this is gonna have some of it. Also, don't forget to check out our Etsy page, link in the description below. We have all kinds of memory markers, as well as Digimon, uh, just in general, Digimon items. We've got these awesome new acrylics that are great magnets for your fridge or keychains, whatever you want them to be. Uh, you can check all that out. I got examples for you on the screen at our Etsy page in the description below. All right, so I have BT15 already pulled up here. We are on digimoncard.dev, a great site for deck building as well as just looking at cards. So we got BT15 uh, pulled up. Now, first, I wanna just rip off the Band-Aid. Let's do a couple honorable mentions here. And uh, first one right off the bat, I wanna go to Apocalymon. Um, this card is super busted. It becomes limited to one uh, shortly after this. So uh, pre-release, official release, and then banned two weeks later. So we get two official weeks with this card uh, before it gets, well, limited to one, I should say. And once it gets limited to one, I don't think the deck will really survive. Um, I'm not even sure how playable at one of in a tech it will be because it really kind of synergizes with needing all of its cards. So. For those that don't know, uh, when this card would be played by placing up to three cards with Dark Master trait and different names from your tra uh, from your battle area or trash under this card, reduce the play cost by four for each card placed. So essentially, you can make him a three play cost, level seven, 15,000 DP Digimon. Like that alone, very impressive, right? Uh, but adding to that, end of your turn once per turn, by placing one level six or lower Digimon card from your trash, as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card, activate one of the on play effects of the card placed by this Digimon's effect. Then, for each level six card in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, trash the top two cards of your opponent's deck. So think about that. That's uh, four level sixes immediately turn one under this card. That's eight cards trashed out of the deck. Um, think about when you're going to be playing this. So first of all, you got your five security cards, okay, out of the deck. You've got your five starting hand. Immediately, uh, if you're going second, you know, that's another card. That's 11 cards out of your deck. That's turn one. So by the time you get this out, you know, we're expecting, you know, at least turn four or five. And at that point, you're, what, at least halfway through the deck. And then this card's going to send you back, like, down into below 20. Like, for sure, by the time you drop this card, your opponent should be below 20. And by the end of the second, or definitely no more than third turn that this card is on the field, uh, you, deck, you deck your opponent out. And that's the general gist of this. And so it's a whole bunch of, uh, like, stuff. Stunge uh, and draw, like draw the game out kind of cards uh, so you don't lose before you can do this shenanigans. And a lot of people are, they use the card Craniomon. Uh, Craniomon's on play, he's not affected by opponent's cards until the end of their turn. So then you're uh, this Apocalymon, like you can't use kill options on it or anything like that. Uh, it just sits there. Now, you know, you can't raid a uh, retaliation into it, nothing. It just sits there. And so what they'll do is just turn after turn after turn. At the end of turn effect here, once per turn, you just grab another Craniomon. So you just fill your deck with Craniomons and keep sliding them underneath. And the Apocalymon keeps being unaffected. And uh, so, yeah, this card's getting limited to one. But I did want to mention it. It is incredibly, incredibly strong. So that is our first honorable mention. The other honorable mention that I wanted to talk about was this Tyranimon. Uh, I think this is really, really cool. Uh, this is a fantastic searcher for any kind of sock deck, uh, which it, that will actually end up covering a whole lot more decks eventually. Um, but this is a fantastic searcher. So it's a four play cost. It's a reveal four. You add a Digimon card and a Tamer off of that. So a reveal four, add two, one Tamer, one 
uh, Digimon, that's really powerful. They have to have Sock and a trait. Uh, return the rest to the bottom of the deck in an order. If you added Trash one card in your hand, and what you should know about Sock uh, in general strategies, uh, let's just use you know Lugamon as the primary example because that's what this will mainly go in at first. Uh, you Digivolve from Trash with that deck, so. Um, yeah, you want to fill your, your trash up with targets. You also play cards out for free from the trash with that deck. So, uh, and that's going to go into effect with other stuff as well. The the Dorogoromon that's going to be out next set for BT16. You know, those whole strategies as well. Uh, this card is a fantastic card for those decks. So, really cool. It's just, again, an honorable mention. I think it's a really nice, uh, like, pseudo-generic uh, search card. Um, not like all-encompassing uh, generic, but it does hit multiple decks, which I think is really cool. So it's a cool way to go about it going off of the uh, the traits like that. All right, now let's just kind of ease into this top 10 for what we have here. So first up, these aren't in like any super big order, um, but the first one I wanna talk about is actually a baby in Modimon here. Uh, end of your turn, if this Digimon has insectoid trait, it may attack your opponent's Digimon. So this is like a uh, limited version of Blitz, right? You can attack an opponent's Digimon. But the, of course, the opponent's Digimon has to be suspended to be a valid target. If it's not, you can't do it. But it's green, right? So lots of green cards have suspend your opponent's Digimon. And this is really great for, I mean, they even put it in, in here in the set. There's lots of stuff like the, the Hercules Kabuterimon, right? So when Digivolving, it's a big four Evo cost. Like most of the time you Evo into this guy, you're passing turn, and that always sucks. However, when Digivolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, one of your Digimon gains piercing for the turn. So boom, you suspend a target, uh, you get piercing for yourself, the Modimon immediately lets you attack, and that's just really great. Um, yeah, so I think that Modimon is really, really cool for a lot of green decks out there that, I mean, I don't know what it is about green, but a lot of their Megas are four, five Evo costs. I mean, some of them are even six Evo cost level uh, sixes. Um, so passing turn was almost always like a guaranteed thing that was gonna happen. This Modimon though, really, really cool inclusion for a lot of those like more aggro heavy, just big body swing stack uh, green decks. So I really, really like this card. Uh, next up, we will cover a blue card here. This is one of the ones I was talking about that's a bit of a power creep. Uh, so it's main effect here on play. If played by an effect, one of your opponent's Digimon can't attack until the end of your opponent's turn. That's not the power creep part. The power creep is definitely the jamming inheritable on a level three rookie. Uh, no, there's no drawback here. You just get it. Uh, we've had level fours that do this. But this is the first level three that we're getting it. We had it on, essentially, we had it on the baby in the previous set, the Bokomon. Um, but that got limited to one. So we lost access to jamming at a very, very low, insignificant level. Um, where, you know, pretty much any stack you built, it was always available right away. Turn one, you hatch, boom, you have your jamming inheritable and you get to go up. Uh, this is going to be, of course, your next best thing here because it is still a zero Evo cost. So it is a inheritable for free and then you can Evo upon it. So, yeah, uh, really, really cool card. Now, again, it is just one of the, the first cards we're talking about as far as strength goes. But I think a lot of blue decks will be able to use this. Anything that's not like super uh, tribal heavy, something like a Gabumon, Garuru, you know, where you really need those names. Uh, anything outside of that that's blue focused, I think this Betamon will be a really, really solid include. All right, moving on from there. Uh, let's actually take it back to green for a moment in the form of Tentomon. So this is another set where we're getting super rares as rookies. Um, this is basically just the rest of the original team here that we're getting uh, super rare versions of their cards. So we got the Tentomon here, of course. Uh, we've got Gatomon, which is a sort of rookie. She fills the place for rookie in the show a lot of times. Uh, we've got the, was it the Gabumon here? Yeah, the Gabumon for blue, uh, the Biomon for for red here. So we get the rest of the, the lineup there. Uh, 
as our super rare rookies. Excuse me as I burp into the mic. Uh, so his effect here, start of your main phase by suspending one Digimon. One of your Digimon with insectoid trait gain uh, gets plus 3,000 DP uh, until the end of your opponent's turn. So plus 3,000 DP, he could essentially target himself. That's pretty cool. So he becomes a 4K body. Not too bad. I think the craziest part here is just start of your main phase, suspend a Digimon. Just I get to suspend one of your Digimon. I literally zero memory cost to do it. I zero Evo in raising. I promote up. Boom. I get to just suspend one of your stuff. And I could just leave this Tentomon on the field. I don't have to Evo on top of him or anything like that. I could just let him sit there. And I could just repeatedly suspend stuff. Uh, lots of green decks would love a card like this. Uh, thinking of something like, you know, Rosemon Burst Mode that loves to just suspend stuff. Um, you know, they can, you can just add to it a plethora of suspending so basically your opponent never gets to do anything uh tentomon really really powerful just free suspends every single turn very very solid um as well as a really cool inherit all turns once turn when this digimon deletes an opponent's digimon in battle gain one memory so what we were talking about earlier with the the new modimon something like this is really cool because then you can uh pseudo blitz over something so you kill it pierce it do a bunch of stuff but you also gain memory back so uh it's like a blitz but then you gain memory so it's we're sort of reducing the evo cost in a roundabout way it's just more involved as well as you know they added other stuff you know you get the same inheritable on other things in this set as well so uh, really really good synergistic strategies there all right, let's take it back up here to red, though, right quick. Uh, next, I've got Xiaomon Cross 2 on the list. Uh, a lot of people may not have thought that I would have uh, put this on the list. Um, it, overall, it's not like a crazy blowout card. Material save 2. So you're going to save the two materials that you cross with, Xiaomon, Ballistamon, uh, reduce them by 1. So you can make him a 3 play cost. You put a Shoutmon underneath, it gives him Rush. Okay, cool. Then you can Material Save with him. All right. Uh, start of your turn by deleting this Digimon, gain one memory. Like, that's not a crazy, all that crazy of an effect there. Uh, on play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon if Digicrossing with two cards that can't, uh, that Digimon can't unsuspend during your next, uh, your opponent's next unsuspend phase. That could come up relevancy. But it's the next part here, rule, name, also treated as Shoutmon and Ballistamon. So this guy's consistency for your cross decks just went up tremendously here. Um, however, for some reason, he doesn't have cross heart trait, which like blows my mind. I don't understand how that's possible. But this is really cool because you can use him in, in conjunction with like the green tamer that gets to play a Ballistamon out for free. Boom. You can play this guy for free off of that. Suspend, gain that memory back. So you get this instant body on field with that. And uh, just like with the Mervamon decks, you're playing cards. You can play the Merva out and immediately cross with it. You know, same thing here. You can play this guy out for free. You could still cross with him and throw that Shoutmon underneath to give him rush. So now he's, uh, you're playing him out for two off of the Green Tamer. Green Tamer's three, suspends himself, gain a memory back, two memory there to get this guy on field with rush. Um, as, and also he's just a good target for your other cross uh you know, need so Ballistamon or Shoutmon, whatever you need, uh, he will be there to cover your bases. So I think that's really cool. I think it's a, a really cool uh, bonus for that deck, uh, that which has been kind of falling off in favor here. It is, uh, it can be fast if you see the cards fast enough, right? So um, anyone you know that was running what it the the Blinding Ray and the Gravity Crush and then the the Mervas, right? And you just basically get rid of all your security you gain a whole bunch of memory you drop the merva merva plays out too and you just rush for game with everything um generally the the idea there so this guy will kind of help in the consistency factor on that deck uh next up let's go down here to yellow uh angel woman ace i love this card i i know there's some people out there that said they don't really care for it um but I think it's fantastic. But I'm also approaching it from the mindset of, unfortunately, 
a a set con player right where uh the fact that uh on play when digivolving by trashing the top card of your security stack one of your opponents digimon gets minus six thousand dp until the end of your opponent's turn that's on play or when digivolving so i can play this for four minus six k to something on your field that feels good in addition to that all turns once per turn when a card is removed from your security stack if you have three or fewer security recover one so yeah anytime you're at four or less playing this out or well, four let's see one to four right if you're at zero this card is pretty much useless but one to four which is very easy um ground to be in so yeah just feel the the value in this feels so good as a player that likes to do control as well as you like to have like security bombs like this just feels so good uh i just i don't know what else to say it just this is great the only issue is i feel like if you're going to run like a set con list um you, you'll have to basically drop the Flame Hell Scythe because you're going to be running the uh, the new Magna Angemon Ace and then the Angelomon Ace here, and neither of them are targets for Flame Hell Scythe. So just kind of keep that in mind when deck building. Um, but I think it's still a fantastic ability that uh, feels all right to me. I don't mind it at all. Uh, but going right off of that into the Magna Dramon for our next card here. What is this? This is card number six on the list uh on play or when digivolving it's only a three evo cost here uh by trashing the top or bottom card of your security stack one of your opponent's digimon gets minus nine thousand dp until the end of your opponent's turn so very familiar to that angel mon ace we just talked about this one is minus 9k um and then right off of that all turns once per turn when a card is removed from your security stack if you have three or less uh security cards you may place one yellow card from your hand at the top or bottom of your security stack either or either or you get a you get a pick and it's any yellow card so set con players rejoice um man you just think about the possibilities off of this card you can put chaos deg as the top card right you see the play your opponent's about to do they've got their their all their stuff out there i'm just like i'm gonna put a chaos dig right there on top you know what's coming uh you could put it at the bottom you could put a holy flame in there to give security attack minus one to the opponent's entire field uh let's see what else can you put in there you could, uh, put in a loan key like putting in the loan key knowing it's the fourth card oh my god like how satisfying is that it's like yeah i'm, I'm putting a loan key it's now card number four that means i get both effects as soon as it gets hit in security like that's super strong uh you can put you know your wyvern's breath in there the, like the possibilities of this is just like blows my mind of of how good it is and this is an all turns effect here when a card is removed from your security stack that's just it when a card is removed from your security stack so you do the wind digivolving effect here and boom you get it then next turn your opponent swings in hits that card that you put in there it goes away guess what the card was removed from your security stack you can immediately trigger this magna Dramon again and put another yellow card and it's anything so if you have a security digimon then when that gets revealed it'll trigger so uh let's see what leomon is a good one i believe that's uh, ex1 leomon that gives you the recovery when it gets hit in security this Magna Dramon uh, is is awesome. Like it, the recovery from the Angel Mon is nice, but that's just any card, like anything off the top. You don't know what it is. The Magna Dramon, though, you get to ex pick the exact card you want to put in there every time a card uh, once per turn. Every time a card once per turn uh, gets removed from your security stack. Oh man, only a rare. Like I wish this had been a an SR so I could get like uh, an alt art of this because that would be super cool all right moving on from there though enough yellow enough set con talk uh let's move down here let's get into the black section uh hagermon uh hagermon however you want to say it um uh, this card is just a really cool addition for your machine decks uh on play reveal the top three add one machine or cyborg trait and one black tamer card among them to your hand return the rest of the bottom of the deck um like this is just a generic card that machine German decks should have had 
like a year and a half ago. Like it's taken them a year and a half to get them a searcher card that's like actually decent and on par with pretty much every other archetype uh, searcher card in the game. It took them that long to finally get this for themselves. Like, dang, Machine Jermon players rejoice because this is really, really awesome. Uh, very needed for the deck. Um, I'm sure they all greatly appreciate this. Um, and then Reboot Inheritable here. Not that that'll matter too terribly much. Uh, most of them don't play a whole lot of level fours. Um, and the ones that do, like, aren't super impactful. Uh, maybe they, they can attack and unsuspend it. It might have Blocker built in. I think some of their level fours that they run uh, sometimes have uh, Blocker. But mainly it's that search. It just, it really needed the search. It had the old Hagirmon that was the on play trash one to draw two, which wasn't bad. Um, but this will be really, really nice. Just being able to uh, not whiff on, you know, tamers when you're doing like a, a black memory boost or something like that. So that's really cool for them. Really, really awesome. Uh, right next to them, though, we've got the Numemon X Antibody. If you're a follower of the JP, um, like, meta format at all, um, you know, as a content creator, of course, uh, all content creators for, you know, trading card games, we're always looking ahead and seeing what's coming down. And Numemon has actually been kind of popping off in JP uh, post-BT16. Um, once we get to BT16, we get the Ukamon and a couple other cards as well. And then the Numemon on deck really really takes off but this is kind of like the beginnings of yes this deck is now playable in a pretty good like amount we put it actually on our tier list for the first time ever it actually made it onto the tier list uh for decks and uh, this card is in part uh, a big portion of the reason so all turns um oh, so first of all is an x antibody so you can digivolve for free on top of a level four new Maimon in name uh as long as it doesn't have x antibody trait so you can't go new Maimon x antibody on top of new Maimon x on antibody on top of new Maimon x antibody so there is that limit there of course which is fine um all turns while this digimon has new Maimon or x antibody in its digivolution cards it gains on deletion you may play one digimon card with new Maimon in its name from your trash without paying the cost where does this come like in really cool like synergy platinum sukumon being able to play my platinum sukumons for free because they have an on play effect that you almost never get to use now with this we now can do it so we can get, use the windage evolving and the on play effect which will then allow us to play another body uh which can you can play like the the monze mons which will you know play out more bodies so the deck has become this massive floater decks like you can do whatever you want to our bodies we can crash into security you know you can run us over you can blow us up with your options or your retaliation it doesn't matter they just keep coming back which is really fitting because if you ever watch the anime when numemons show up there's like you know hundreds of them they just show up in droves and that's really like they're really hitting it uh perfectly with these card effects of they just now get to play each other out and you might think well that's just a level four effect they basically gave it to the inheritable as well on deletion you may play one digimon card from the maimon in its name from your trash without paying the cost so that's really cool because as an inheritable you can just uh play itself right back out so uh or you know whatever new maimon is underneath it or like the new maimon uh, the platinum new maimon that we we're talking about earlier you can play that one right back out so they just continuously float and you just can't clear the board and i think that's what's really cool uh, about this uh card and this is really really awesome for the deck uh expect good things from new maimon coming very 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 soon uh, jumping on past that, we are now into the final two uh, cards we're going to talk about here, and I think um, I want to save the save the option card for last. Let's talk about this monster of a card. Not alone, just the the image there that is absolutely terrifying. Uh, like, oh my gosh, that just that's crazy. Um, in a vacuum by itself, the card's like, okay, this is good, but you know, it still situational. But we'll we'll break it down here. So trash all turns when an opponent's Digimon or Tamer is played by an effect, one of your Leviamon or one of your Digimon with X antibody in its Digivolution cards, i.e. the option, either of them, 
may digivolve into this card from your trash without paying the cost. This is normally a six Evo cost card. And it's just like, yeah, you get an Evo into this for free. It's a purple deck. Like, draw trash, like, off of an Evo? Come on, like, everything does that pretty much. Like, getting this thing into trash, like, literally turn one or two is no big deal. As long as you see it in your hand, like, getting it into the trash is the easy part. Um, so, Evo for free. When your opponent plays a Digimon by effect, you're like, well, that's kind of situational. Like, not everything plays that. Don't worry. We'll, we'll cover that, too. Uh, security Attack plus two. It's a mega. It's a level six. 14,000 DP, level 6. Dang. Uh, security attack plus 2 on it as well. Dang. <laughs> when Digivolving, if your opponent, like, that, the crazy thing is we're not even done yet. Like, we have an Evo for free effect. We have 14,000 DP. We have security attack plus 2, and it keeps going. Uh, when Digivolving, if your opponent has as many or more Digimon uh, and Tamers as you... Delete one of your opponent's uh, tamers. <laughs> then delete one of your opponent's level 3, level 5, and level 7 Digimon. You're deleting 4 targets with this Evo effect. If they have as many or more Digimon and tamers as you. Like... Oh my god. Super easy. I have a single stack. Like, come on. I, I can blow up your whole field, basically. Yeah, that's nuts. And then just a uh, little caveat into that, the option card that actually goes with him as well um, also plays off of that. So uh, all trash effects. So if it's just chilling in your trash, all turns when one of your Digimon Digivolves into Leviamon X Antibody, by returning this card to the bottom of the deck, delete one of your opponent's level 4 and level 6 Digimon. So boom, it just does whatever he didn't kill. That one's going to kill the other ones, so the other levels, and that's just crazy. And again, that's a trash effect, so you don't even have to like play it. It's not like a delay effect. It's a trash effect, so you just trash both of these cards, and then they just pop off. Now, how do you trigger all this craziness? Well, they already thought of that. So you have the War Seizure Mon here. This is your level 5. Uh, his uh, effect here of when attacking, uh, your opponent plays one level four or lower Digimon card from their trash suspended without paying the cost. Any on play effects on that Digimon uh, by this effect don't activate. Then you may switch the attack target to that Digimon. Like, hey, cool, you get to play a free body out. That's cool, right? Oh, by the way, I'm just going to run it over and delete it immediately. So it's like it doesn't even matter. You don't get any of your on play effects. Um, so hopefully you got an on deletion effect, air thumbs. Um, but what's so great about that is you, your opponent <laughs> played a card by effect. It's your own effect, but they played the card uh, by an effect. So then that triggers your ex antibody there, which will then digivolve for free onto this guy, and then you're running it over. And oh, look, it has piercing as the inheritable. So security attack plus two, 14,000 DP, piercing, uh, evoed for free into it. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to blow up your whole field. Like, all of that, all of that. This is a strong card. Like, arguably, probably should have been the number one card, the number one pick here um, for the most powerful card in the set that's uh, still going to be legal after the 1st of March um, is definitely Leviamon X Antibody. Absolute incredible card, going to be an incredible deck. I am looking forward to seeing this in action. I think it's going to be very, very good. However, the card I want to talk about is probably a card you wouldn't actually expect uh, to be my number one on the list. And it's actually the card I've actually had the most conversations about. Um, not to just uh, one person, but multiple people have all brought this card up to me. And uh, and I completely agree. It's the Machine Germon card. The Supreme Connection. Three play costs. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Add one card with machine or cyborg trait among them to your hand, and trash one card with machine or cyborg trait among them. Uh, return the rest to the top of the deck, then place this card in the battle area. Delay. You may play one level 5 or higher Digimon card with machine or cyborg trait from your hand, with a cost reduced by 3. So we have a 3 play cost uh, search card, right? So. Think of your, you know, your black memory boost, essentially, here, um, is, is kind of a good comparison. But this is an extra card. It's one extra card, as well as it's an add, one of the machines or cyborgs, 
and it's a trash, which in a machine drum one deck, you, you want those cards in your trash. So you're getting an add off of it, off of out of a top five already, boom, better than black memory boost, uh, in, at least in a machine drum one deck, of course. Uh, and then you get a trash one, which fantastic. Uh, and then delay reduce a play cost by three. So instead of two memory, essentially you're getting three memory back off of this card. Wow, you play that, uh, you use this for an EX1 Machine Drummon, and you put five targets underneath that Machine Drummon, you just played an EX1 Machine Drummon for two play cost off of this card. How incredibly, like, efficient is that that is just mind-blowingly efficient for a machine drummon deck um yeah th this card is absolutely four of in every single machine drummon deck like moving forward for the far foreseeable future just absolutely incredible uh security effect uh reveal the top five cards of your deck add one with machine trait and among them to your hand trash one machine trait, uh one machine or cyborg trait and then return the rest of the top of the deck then place this card in the battle area so I don't know why it didn't, oh, I guess it can't say main because there's two different mains, the main and the effect and the delay. So they have to just word it all again. Either way though, it hits in security you, or you play it for free, you get all the effects. Uh, yeah, just what an incredible card, man. Machine Germon for two play cost with five inheritables. Wow. Yeah, go straight into like a Chaos Germon after that. Oh man, that's gonna be so good. I'm very excited for Machine Drummond. Like, it's it's been one of those decks that's, like, on the cusp of being really, really good. Like, it was almost viable in Ultimate Cups um, before, and now it, with this card, I feel like it's got really good potential to actually break into the meta, potentially. Um, if you can get your analog uh, mans on field, right, if you can get enough of them, like, th this deck is hard to out. Like, Besides what, um, literally the, the yellow purple we talked about earlier, Chaos Deg. Besides Chaos Deg, there's really not much in the game that can clear it. Lone Key. Um, but even then, like, just the deck becomes more and more sticky as we go and just harder and harder to remove and big and big bodies and just they can attack on just suspended stuff. It's got a ton of DP. Uh, it's got free security trash effects off like the Metal Tyranimon. Like it's got so many utility pieces. It probably has more utility techs than any other deck in this game because of all the level fives that you can choose, the different inheritables that you want to pick to add to the deck to handle different things, delete tamers right off of the Mega Dramon. Um, you know, attack unsuspended Digimon, uh, trash free security when something is deleted. You got blocker, you got redirect off the analog man. I mean, the deck has a lot of like stuff going on. So, really cool to see this card coming in for Machine Dramon. Uh, would love to see Machine Dramon just really take off again. Uh, I know it's a huge fan favorite. So, really cool card. And uh, that's going to do it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. This was, you know, a bit of a longer one. But again, I think there was a lot of good stuff that we talked about here and, and how to use them. So if you guys enjoyed this and you made it this far, please like the video. If you're not already and you listen to me ramble for 30 minutes and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It is greatly appreciated.